Okay, I think that we are live. And so, hello everyone. Um, I had said we'd be doing a Facebook Live today, myself and Dale Grove, who is a Masterson Method Certified Practitioner. Um, Facebook's having some glitches today. So we're recording this, and then I'm you're watching um, a recorded version of what we are doing right now. So I'd like to introduce Dale Grove too. I'm going to ask her some questions. We're just going to visit. I wanted. I know there's some interest in this in this group about the Masterson method. Um, Dale trained with Jim, um, is certified. So I asked her if she would volunteer some of her time and pop into this group and tell us a little bit about herself and her business and Young Living. So welcome, Dale. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Good afternoon, Megan. How are you doing? Good, good. Um, okay, well, first of all, I guess I love hearing you tell, I've, I've been blessed and able to go to a couple of Dale's clinics. Um, and so I've gotten to learn, and I work with her every day, so I know quite a bit about her, but I love listening to her at her clinics explain why she decided to become a master's in method practitioner. So I'm going to turn it over to you, Dale, and maybe just tell us why master's in method. Oh boy. Uh, well, thank you, first of all, for having me. I'm super excited to share with you what I'm most passionate about, um, and that is Masterson Method, uh, helping horses with Masterson Method and Young Living, actually. Um, but Masterson Method, I have been certified going on two years now um, with Masterson Method, and I did a career change um, a few, few years ago. I was looking at, can you, oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry. Um, so I did a career change and I was looking at, uh, um, I had always had it in the back of my mind wanting to do something um, along the lines of equine massage, equine therapy. So um, I was getting ready to go to school in California. It was the night before I was going to put a deposit down on a different kind of schooling and I just didn't quite feel like that was a sufficient length of time to go to, it was a five-day program and um, so I, I just felt like I wanted something with uh, quality education um, real intensive program and I had never heard of Masterson Method never seen it and uh, started reading some some reviews on Masterson Method and uh, did some research. And a month later, I went for my weekend seminar. That's a two-day um, introduction uh, to Masterson Method. And then a month later, I went down to Texas for a five-day. And uh, my journey began actually at the weekend seminar. So, and Matt, for anyone that doesn't know or isn't familiar with Masterson Method, um, Masterson Method is a way, uh, it was kind of founded by Jim Masterson Method, um, Jim Masterson, and uh, it's a way of releasing tension in a horse's body, <clears throat> excuse me, but basically learning to recognize the response of the horse um, and let the horse guide you in finding that tension and releasing that tension. And so how do you know as you're doing it, for those that aren't familiar with it, Sure. how do you know if it's working or what are you looking for in the horse? So you're um, looking for responses in the horse. Um, they hold tension and you use their responses, which would be um, if you were to start working on a horse, um, you follow what we call the blinking. Um, so you look for, I'll give you an example specifically because different techniques you would look for different responses. Uh, in one of my introduction to bodywork clinics that I do, um, and what you learn with Masterson Method, you learn the bladder meridian. So um, you use your touch um, to find and release tension and your touch, as you touch the horse along a, a the bladder meridian line. Um, you follow the response of the horse, which you would follow the blinking. So if you're touching the horse, say let's start at the pole, and you use air gap pressure, and you 
you see the horse respond, um, typically you follow the blinking. So all horses blink, um, but it's in correlation to your touch. And so typically um, that tells you that they are holding tension in that area. So then you hold um, or you stay in that. It's, it's called SRSR. You stay, um, you search for a response, you stay until you get the release. SRSR. Search for a response, stay until you get a, a release. So you're searching using your touch for a response. The response would be the blinking. And, and if you're not sure if it correlates with your touch, you leave that spot, you come back, and you're going to notice a big difference, you know, between a normal blink and all of a sudden blink as it re relates to your touch. And then you stay on that spot until you get the release. And the release varies, you know, small responses um, might be licking and chewing, um, a lot of horses head shaking to the larger responses. The ultimate would be like the yawning and the eye rolling. And that is the endorphin release or when the horses release tension on their own. And that is kind of what sets Masterson method apart a little bit is, um, and what I love about it is just, it makes so much sense when I first learned about um, horses and their bracing response. So horses in a herd, um, what we talk about in Masterson Method, um, horses naturally hold tension um, and don't want to show tension or show vulnerability or lameness or any discomfort because in a herd, um, what happens in a herd, um, they're called off, you know, the weak um, survival of the fittest. So their survival instinct is to not show tension or discomfort or lameness. So what we're doing is staying under their bracing response. So horses want to leave um, physically or mentally. That's physically bracing or mentally bracing. And what Masterson method does is stay under their bracing response. Um, we don't allow them to leave physically. So if they have to be with us, um, we go extremely soft so that they're not able to mentally brace against our touch. And it's kind of correlates to horsemanship now where the lighter the ask, um, getting a response, if you think of it that way as well. That's so cool. Yeah, love it. Um, and I love clearing the bladder meridian and using it on our horses. Um, and then I have Dale come once a month in the summer and work on Joey um, and we'll see with Earl when he gets back here too. So um, it's been a really handy tool to have in my toolbox and it's, yeah, I love learning about it. So thank you for sharing that. Um, what would you say would be your favorite part of Masters in Method? Oh, I think like anything, um, it has been a progression. Uh, so when I started and decided to do the career change, I loved horses. Um, and it was uh, the death of my father, actually, that, that inspired me to do the career change. Um, the connection with horses was through my dad. And so I really wanted to do something that I was passionate about and that, I guess, for me, helped me stay connected with my dad. And um, so the love of horses is why you start. And just like anything, as you progress, um, I have found so many other things. So when I started, it was for the love of the horse and wanting to leave um, horses, improve the lives and the well-being of horses, and leave the industry better than what I found it. And, um, and that's my hope. That's my goal. And but as as you get into it, like with anything, uh, like I said, a natural progression, you discover things that you didn't know you would you would um, discover, I guess. Um, so now I love working on horses. Absolutely love it. So I do individual body work sessions and that is the core of what I do. And I'll always love that. But what I have discovered since then i started putting on little mini clinics um not little but introduction to body work clinics it's just dipping your toe in in masterson method um and so 
what I've discovered from that is uh, teaching and empowering others to um, do something for their horse and connect with their horse and build that trust and communication, which is also at the core of Masterson Method. Um, for me, uh, empowering others empowers myself um, and has been has become something that I didn't realize would I would be so passionate about. So since then, I've also become a weekend seminar Masterson Method instructor, um, instructor organizer. So I'm able to also uh, teach weekend seminars. So I have my first weekend seminar in September. So I'm excited about that. Well, why don't you, I know that you, you've been a Young Living member for a long time. So uh, maybe tell us how long you've been a Young Living member and why you decided to use Young Living. So I was a Young Living member for several years. Um, it's just in the last year that I became active and really uh, educated myself. Um, I started implementing them kind of haphazardly in my bodywork sessions, um, but really started educating myself, receiving education from you, um, and realizing the power um, that oils would have within um, its effect on horses in a bodywork um, situation and releasing tension and all the benefits that I was receiving uh, from oils that horses could receive as well. So um, I started well last summer, I guess, and uh, started learning about raindrop therapy and doing some raindrop therapy demos, but really implementing them more intentionally uh, in my bodywork sessions. That's kind of how we started too. We used them ourselves, and then one day it just clicked, and it was like, oh gosh we know the, the value of using this for us why aren't we using it on them and then when you start incorporating it into the horse piece of it um it's even more amazing and i've really had um so a lot of horse people and that's i guess my niche just with what i do and the raindrop demos um one thing I, that i would say and maybe I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but um, I have a lot of interest in raindrop therapy um, and what people, people are so motivated to improve their lives of their horse. <laughs> so they wanna get a raindrop kit and that's awesome. And I wouldn't discourage that. But what I have discovered or what I think is important is that people use them on themselves first because you know, you feel, the benefits of the oils and you educate yourself and then using them on your horses. Some people want to kind of skip using it on themselves mm -hmm. and then go to the horses, but the horses, although we can see the benefits, and again, I think I'm jumping ahead a little bit, okay. um, because I'd like to talk about, for example, raindrop therapy and the correlation of, of releasing tension, what I see in a raindrop mm -hmm. therapy. But um, I think it's really important to experience yourself uh, the benefits of the oils and how powerful they are once you discover that then you really realize um, especially when you see the horses releasing because of the oils um, how powerful they are so if that makes sense yeah it does and you can go in whatever direction you want to i'll just make sure at the end that we went covered the main things um, do you want to Talk about the raindrop and yeah. So I guess actually you, you, I kind of skipped over that when you when you asked me um, why um, when I started incorporating it in my bodywork sessions, what I found so powerful for me. So once you um, start recognizing how horses release tension, and you're looking for those signs, um, the licking and chewing, um, yawning and all those things that horses do to release tension. Um, I started seeing that with their responses to oils. So in a raindrop therapy, and it was actually Megan that did a demonstration for me uh, with the raindrop uh, therapy. And to see Joey, your horse um, mm -hmm. specifically, responding in the same way almost that they do with body work, 
um, was intriguing to me. And so um, that's when it really started clicking with me and I started doing my research and educating myself. Um, and to me, the two of them together, Masterson Method and Young Living, just um, for me, make so much sense um, for a lot of different ways. The holistic approach, um, looking at the whole horse and you know, you have a quality product, you have education behind it. Um, I love the education that I received with uh, Masterson Method. It's a quality product. And the community behind Masterson Method is what you also get with Young Living. So to me, the, the two of them just make so much sense. Um, and like I said, to see the horses releasing with a the raindrop therapy, which is basically a series of, of nine of the oils, you can add to that as well, but they're applied along the spine and the back um, and the hooves in different areas of the horse, but um, ultimately to support all systems of the horse's body. That's so. awesome. Yeah, two powerful tools to have in your toolkit, masters in method and oils. Um, yeah. I loved, well, just recently, I love being able to use both on Joey. I love having, being able to do that clear the bladder meridian and do the easier things on my own between you coming here. I love having you coming once a month and doing a full body work over on her. And then I love being able to use the oils and do the raindrop as often as I need to, um, just to keep her living above the wellness line, which is what we all want to do. And, exactly. And it's easy. I can do it by myself. I can do it wherever we're at. It doesn't matter. So I think that's cool. Yes. And that's what I love too, is because when I do a body work session on a horse, and that is one of the reasons I started doing the intro to body work clinics also to help people learn things that they can do before a ride, um, in between body work session, what can I do? That's what I wanted to know as a horse owner. If I wasn't doing body work, I started thinking, what do I want to be able to do? Mm -hmm. um, and so that's what I try to teach. And so Young Living, I just love that the oils, whether you do the raindrop, whether you use, you know, we have individual oils um, that we talk about all the time that we use, um, you know, between peppermint, lavender, Panaway, um, that you can use them on your own, you know, that empowers you to, um, to help your horse by yourself. So I love that. Well, the last part I wanted to talk, have you share about is because we do have other people, especially from the Barefoot Horse Magazine interest that um, are professionals, whether barefoot trimmers, et cetera, in here. So why did it, I mean, you were using Young Living, you've talked a little bit about raindrop therapy, but maybe explain a little bit about the business aspect of Young Living and why, I mean, you're a bit, you've been extremely successful at growing a Young Living business alongside growing your Masterson business. So maybe just tell me anything you'd like to share about that, why you do that. What you're... Absolutely. I love this part of it. I love, I love what I do. I love sharing about it. I love the business part of it. So um, this is super exciting. So thank you um, for giving me this opportunity. So Right away, a year ago, um, when I started getting I the idea about doing an intro to body work clinic, the basis of anything, having a business, um, to me, having a successful business, um, I keep on thinking about the word diversity. And so I knew that I wanted to diversify my business um, and offer just more than one avenue. Um, so I was doing individual bodywork sessions, but I knew for a multitude of reasons that I wanted to do the intro to bodywork clinics. Um, I can reach a lot more horses. Um, you know, I can't, I, I can't remember. I, I did the numbers about how many horses probably received the bladder meridian from people attending my clinics was, I think over, I can't even remember. I had it on a piece of paper, but like over a hundred versus me wow. doing individual bladder meridian per horse. And so, so diversifying my business, reaching more, you know, I can only work on so many horses. So teaching people to work on their own horses 
educating people on that. that. Um, so I knew that in this business, I wanted to add, and most people do, whether it's body work, whether whatever you're doing in the horse industry, whether you want to add a retail product that you believe in, um, you're always looking for things to diversify your business. And I think you should, and I think that's important. So I knew that I would find that, that continuing education will always be important to me. So every year I'll add some tool to my toolbox. Um, the raindrop therapy is one tool. Um, essential oils, young living essential oils is one tool in my toolbox, but um, it has really, um, for all the reasons that I've said, been important to me, but it has also from a business perspective, um, when I think about scaling my business, so when I work on a horse, that's me hands-on working on a horse, getting paid for that horse. Young Living with the residual income allows me to, to work a business when I'm not working on a horse. Like for, for me in Minnesota, we slow down uh, in the wintertime between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So doing Young Living business, uh, as a business, growing a team um, brings me also back to the thing that I'm falling in love with, with Masterson Method, being an educator. So mm -hmm. I have discovered that my passion, one of my passions is educating, empowering people um, through the oils as well. And being a team leader is exciting to me. Um, one of the things that Masterson Method has done as well as Young Living um, and kind of my three pillars, and I touched on two of them, quality product, education, and the community or, co or the connection that it provides. Uh, Masterson Method, I have a group of, a community of Masterson Method practitioners that I love and friends of mine, and I've grown that community. Um, Young, Young Living also has provided me with the, uh, that community and that connection. So um, I have a team of, of people so we have 30 on my team, uh, started my business last, last, late last summer, and uh, helping some of those people, like empowering them with, with some of the education and the knowledge, um, and helping them grow their business is almost more exciting than yeah. me growing mine. So that education and that empowerment piece. But going back to talking about scaling my business and diversifying, and doing things, what Young Living does is helps me think about scaling my business long term. So I'm going to be 50 this year. And, you know, I hope to work, be able to work on horses till I'm 70, 80 years old. I'm, I'll be healthy and fit, you know. But um, we know, let's say something happened, an injury happened, um, whether it's from riding, whether it's from body work. Um, or thinking long term, thinking of downtime, thinking of, excuse me, I'm getting a low battery signal. Um, thinking um, in the terms, even the situation we're in now, not being able to be out and about as much. So, all of that, um, again, diversifying our business, it's all things we can do in our downtime. So I want to be able to um, have things that I can do in case I couldn't physically work on a horse. Um, what can I do on a Sunday afternoon, you know, or let's say a cancellation for a bodywork session. So Young Living, the residual income, long scale, um, scaling my business, I can be making money without directly working on a horse. Yeah. Yeah. So, that makes sense. Yeah. So I just think it's smart to, to whatever you're doing, whether if it's a farrier work, body work. I mean, if, in, if we're talking strictly horse industry, I mean, mm -hmm. I was a, at one time a stay at home mom and I homeschooled. I mean, there's no lifestyle. There's no career that young loving young living, young loving. That's what we should call it. Young loving. <laughs> See, it was a Freud flip. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm loving young living. Yeah. Um, but there's no a career or lifestyle that it doesn't complement. Right. Um, so it's just. Yeah, exactly. I mean, right now 
I don't have a, another horse business. I mean, Scott has a, an outfitting business with a bunch of horses, so we have that. But um, my full-time job is helping a resort with reservations, which luckily this happened at a time we're on, a, if the resort I work for is on an island, so we're closed right now to wait for the ice to melt. So I still have my job there. I'm still taking reservations for summer and all of that, thankfully. But if that, ha if that, if I was working at a resort or if this would have happened in the summertime, it would have been devastating or, you know, a situation, but I still would have my young living business to fall back on, which gives me incredible peace and job security um, because I've been laid off a couple times in the past working for corporate America where I had nothing to fall back on. So that was part of my intention of starting Young Living was I love natural health. I love helping people and horses and like you diversifying and having another income stream um, whether I need it or not. Um, just a backup plan and something that's that's really fun to do. I liked when you said you could do individual body, and I'll we'll wrap this up here, but you could do individual body work sessions and help one person at a time, or you can do a clinic and help a lot of people that are then able to help others or help their exactly. own horses. The same thing with Young Living. We can, you and I can teach one-on-one -on -one all the time, and but we're only going to help so many people in our network but the great thing about network marketing is when we're teaching classes and more and more people are learning and then those people are teaching other people and teaching other people it's a huge um well pay it forward kind of effect where people just keep helping more more and more people um and the growth is exponential and off the charts when you have a team of people working together for the greater good rather than one helping one 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 or stuff you know what i mean absolutely absolutely and there's just so many benefits and like i said i was focusing more on the horse industry but empowering people you know network marketing young living um the leadership and and the skills that you learn is all personal development mm -hmm. so it's going to benefit your business but it can't not benefit you in life as a person because that you're, the skills that you're learning to be successful um, for the business part of it is all just personal development. Yeah. So, so I love it. Cool, me too. Okay, awesome. Well, this I think will make, will cut this off and so it doesn't get too long i know we can sit here and talk about this forever um but thank you very much for taking time out of your day to do this interview with me and um if anybody has any questions just comment below dale and i are both in this group so we can get back to you um and hope everybody has a great rest of the day thank you dale thank you Yes, happy to answer any questions about Masterson Method, anything, any piece of what we talked about. So thank you, Megan. Bye. Bye.